there's a, there's a little barrow underneath the tombstone here. It's the home of the Kara. And um, one year my son used to go to borrow a cup and shearing. So him and his cousin, his uncle Herman Humphreys, they pulled in here and there's a big car to see mum's grave. And there's a big car that was there. And they tried to shoot it, but they couldn't hit it. Because the place to guard is very sacred to us, bush meat. Right? And um, with the carter, if you want to hear about the carter, it's another little story I could tell you. You might not relate to this, but this um, one bloke killed a carter and he took it home to his wife to cook. And because when we do it, we put it in hashes. We know what to do, but he didn't know what to do. She didn't know what to do, so they put it in the oven. Well, he put it in the oven, and when she opened the oven, the car was standing up like that. Because he says, you get the shock of a laugh. Yeah. 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 Hey? Yeah. So it is, yeah. you got to break the legs, see, when you cook it, so, yeah. But all these uh, food, there are different ways of killing and different ways of cooking. You've got to know the ways, yeah. Yeah, that's all. I yeah, could probably okay. carry on with that other one. Uh, when I bought my, when I bought my grandsons and sons and son-in-law here for up to Kilabar, uh, we came here, pulled up in a bus outside the gate there, and as we got in the bus, there's a big car that's sitting there with it up like that. And I had a couple of boomerangs of mine in the, in the bus, and uh, my son-in-law, for some reason, he, he carried this boomerang when he got out of the bus. But when the car was sitting up there with his head up. He just got down on his haunches and he threw the boomerang and hit him right in the neck and uh, we finished up, got him and we took him out to Durin where we were going later on, cooked him up and ate it there. So I don't know, it could have been just a coincidence, I don't know, but it was something that was cultural that we were able to do there with a traditional weapon to kill that carter, that goanna, take it out there and cook it in a traditional style out of the cold out there. So, yeah, a lot of carters here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not only the um, uh, traditional food for our people, but we see them, I guess, because there's so many around here as um, the spiritual, um, you know, protectors of our family. Yeah. And also, see, the, the Noongars never had guns years ago, it was just yeah. boomerangs and dogs. Yeah. That's what they killed them with, see. Mm. And of course, the, the, the oil from the goanna, the car, is medicinal. You know, they make that goanna oil now, you know. And then out of that, and, you rub it on your muscles and it loosen all your muscles up and things like that. So, Aboriginal people knew that years ago, even before chemistry came in. You know, so, yeah. so the animals were even used for medicinal purposes, you know, other than having a good feed. Yeah. 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 Okay. Mm. Okay. Mm.